Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-automation.com. Today in this video, I will be talking about what is workflow in Postman. Okay, so when you talk about workflow, it sounds a little technical, but when you uh, you know see the examples, it's really very easy. So before we jump into what exactly is workflow, let me talk about the you know what is the problem right now or what is the requirement as of now. Okay, so in this example, this is the collection that I have, and I have three requests, right? So I have get post and delete and when i run them you will see they will run in a proper order or whatever order they you have mentioned so right now they are running in this order right so what if i simply drag and drop yes this will change the order right so this is what we are doing through postman and we are manually changing this order right but what if i have such requirement that i want to run a specific request once this particular request is done for example once this get request is done, I want to run the delete. And after this delete again, I want to run, let's say post or any other request. So if I don't want to do from collection runner, if I don't want to do in this case, I want to do it you know, through a script. How can I do that? In that case, we need a workflow. Workflow means how the request will propagate in simple words, right? So one to two, two to three and so on. So this is nothing but a workflow. So in this case, if I run, it will definitely execute get post delete. So let me do one thing, let me run it. So before I run this, let me also create one more request. So I will go ahead and create a request. This request, let's say I'm creating a update user. Okay. If I just go to this update user, uh, let me just add anything. Okay some dummy because the main reason is just to show you this workflow so right now i have four requests the moment i run this and the moment i run collection runner it will simply run in this order okay so let's run them okay so it says okay there's something issue with this environment so let me change this environment so this environment thing we discussed already in the previous video guys so in case if you haven't seen the previous video Please go ahead and watch that video where we discussed about what is environment and all right so let me run this again now we have proper valid QA environment and I'm running this collection so yes it is done it should run in this order get user create user delete user and update user go ahead and yes okay it worked expected and this delete user test is failing and because of the response time Okay, this actually we failed, uh, you know, forcefully in my previous video. So this is not an issue. Forcefully we have failed it just to show you. The main intention was just to show the request and it is happening, right? Get user, create, delete and update. Now let me do the same thing. Uh, let me change this workflow using script. So let's say this get user. And once this get user is done, I will create a user then I will update the user and then I will delete the user. This is the sequence I want. So I don't want delete just after post. I want delete at last. So what I will do, first of all, let me show you the official documentation. So there is a, actually an inbuilt function in Postman, okay, where you can set the next request. The moment you say Postman dot set next request, you just need to mention which request you want to run after this particular script or request and it will automatically call it so let me just copy this okay so this is running fine i want the get user first then i want the post user now after post user i want update user so i will go back to test and we already have one test added in our previous videos so i will simply copy here and i will mention the request name what is the request name it's update user make sure guys it is proper otherwise it will not be able to understand that request which exists or not so make sure you give the proper name and it's a case sensitive now we are done so once this post is done it will do this and finally let's see how it behaves you will see a strange behavior now so let me just run this okay and let me run my collection okay so it ex actually executed get user create user and update user but hold on there's a small mismatch what about the delete user 
why it is not executing the delete user the reason is when we started collection it was on the last right so after update user there is no request so it is not able to understand what is this delete user right so you need to also make sure that when you uh, you know make this set request your all the requests are covered because if it is at last okay if you set this uh, net next request to last it will not execute the further ones so if you just see now let me just run it again okay just a second what is coming like this okay let me just select this click on run yeah so now if you expand this so we call this get user then i call post and then i call delete uh, update user but after update user we don't have any request so it is not able to understand or it is not able to call this delete user request okay so let's do one thing let's add one more uh, set next request after update user so that we can call this as well so that's actually interesting concept so again i will go to this update user i will go to test i will simply copy paste and this time i can say that i want to call delete user okay make sure it is correct and yes let's go back let's run this collection once again and now we have proper workflow which is start with get user create user update user and finally delete user and run my collection and here we go okay so now this is small you can see it is going in infinite loop okay so why it is happening let me show you so what we did right now uh, once this is done again we are calling the delete user right after delete user again the next one is update user again update user is calling delete user so this particular thing is going in a loop so how we can stop this we'll see but let me run this once again and you will see it okay run my collection okay can you see update user delete user is going in a loop now because because of the order which i showed you right so this will be same until we stop this but what if i want to stop again with a script i don't want this to go in a loop right because definitely you will get this, this kind of situation where you can just tell the last request that i don't want to execute further so in our case um, okay this delete user is coming in a sequence and it is calling this so what i can do again i will go here and i can just go back to this i will copy this and this time i will set this to null okay it means once this is done i don't want to run the further because once the user is deleted i don't want to go in a loop and i don't want any other request to be made so now you will see it will just execute once and it will stop and let me do one thing uh, let me just actually you know give the proper response code so that it should not fail because failure doesn't look good so i will go back to my collection run it and now you will see a proper workflow get post update and final delete after delete user we are saying null so it will not execute and here we go so i hope this uh, workflow concept is clear name is little technical but in real time if you just try to relate it when you want a specific request to execute next one is uh, you know next to one request you can change the order directly from the script itself and if you don't want to do from the script you can anyways drag and drop from here as well another important point it's not mandatory that you maintain this in a you know a test you can also maintain this in a pre-request script as well so we haven't discussed uh, this point till now but yeah you can add this next request into the pre-request script as well i hope this session was useful if yes then hit the like button share with your friends subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye